Hi everyone, thank you for joining me today. My name is Tanaj Nikki, and today I'm showing you guys what I wore this week. So I'm going to be showing you items that I've worn. They're actually in the past couple of weeks, so don't ding me on that. I have a lot of clothes and I do a lot of hauls, and I want to show you all how I meld these into my wardrobes for some everyday outfits that I've recently worn. So if you're into content like that, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you're subscribing, make sure you check the notification bell so you know everything I have coming out here on YouTube. So let's get into it. So I will say, a lot of these items you will have seen on the channel already because I do wear all the clothes that I keep. But I just wanted to show you all how I style them in my everyday wardrobe. So I will start with the earliest combination of clothes. This is a shirt from Fashion Nova in a size small. Uh, you can see it has the long tail and the draw that's tied to the front along with these pants. These are from Play-Doh's Closet and I think I only pay like maybe $7 for them or something like that amazing i wore these with pumps that are pointed toe which is that's my go-to that's honestly the thing that i wear the most so this was an outfit that i actually wore to a brunch meeting i felt one of course it's business appropriate something you would wear to work anyways now these pants are actually a size four which i was kind of surprised with because i don't know as of late i've been leaning more towards a size six or higher but that might just be the cut of the pants which is you know why we all hate pants right like they're a different size in every brand these are a four in the brand a new day which i believe is from target but like like I said, I got it from Play-Doh's Closet. Honestly, the shoes, they also came from Play-Doh's Closet as well. I'm sure I paid under $10 for them. Everything that I have that I've done in a recent haul, I'll have in the description box below, along with the links to these items. So if you want to purchase them, you can. The elongated slits and the tie and everything made it a little zhuzh so that you can wear it out still. So this, although it was for a business meeting that I had over brunch, I would definitely be able to wear this out and about with friends. So actually, I've been doing quite a bit of traveling as of late. A lot of important people in my life have been graduating from different levels of achievement and yeah I've been on the plane a couple times I'm just very grateful that not all of them were at the same time so I can make them all for an airport outfit where I knew that once I landed I was going to be out and about in the world I chose this pinstripe jumpsuit from no boundaries I got this from my Walmart spring haul it is in a small 3.5 and it is extremely comfortable because I do get around a bit as far as traveling goes I've kind of developed rules for myself as to what I'm wearing to the airport and how comfortable I'm going to be something stretchy and Floyd like this is an absolute must especially at Atlanta's airport we all know it is the hub of craziness you might have to walk a long way you need to be comfortable so that's what this is also there are no metal pieces on it so I don't have to take off the belt when I'm going through security that type of thing you see I think ahead and there's pockets going through security you're sticking stuff everywhere just to get through you need some pockets and that's another reason why I chose this lovely jumpsuit again I got it from Walmart it was I think $17 I don't know if they still have it but like I said everything will be linked down below and you can check it out if you want to get it i told you guys people in my life are graduating from different things including astrid my best friend i'll show a picture of us here and this is the outfit that i wore to her ceremony so this is a dkny thrifted piece that i got from ragorama and it is beautiful it feels like weighted linen it's light like linen but it's not as light as linen <laughs> I meant every word that I said. And if you guys felt this, you would understand what I mean. So I chose this. I realized I've been on kind of like a beige kick, but I couldn't resist wearing this. I wore this with nude heels that were about this color. They were a little blushy, but together it worked out fine. And that's what I'm also wearing here, modeling and showing to you guys. Again, very chic, very 90s vibe. This came from Ragorama, so it is thrifted. I think I paid $17 for it. I wore it to a ceremony, great ceremony. And also this was just a beautiful piece to have. And I'm gonna wear it again soon I really am so this piece is kind of hard to show you guys <laughs> as me holding it up uh, but this is a one-piece dress that I got from a store because I, I went to my little sister's graduation in Arkansas and we ended up going out and I didn't pack for going out so I had to run to a store that was nearby I think it was called like it's fashion now or something like that it wasn't a retailer that I was used to but I did find this piece it was only $16 but you guys you see the 
you see the material. Yeah, we went out and had a good time. That's all that needs to be said. <laughs> I'll show you guys a picture of me when I came back before I went to sleep at my hotel, but we don't have any pictures while we were out because we were having a great time. This was the fit and you guys, this feels amazing. This is in a size medium, but I do feel like it's junior sizing. It is 95% polyester and 5% spandex. Because it's so stretchy, I actually could have gone small, but I couldn't try it on in store. So I felt medium was the safe bet for me. So if you guys see my measurements, they'll come out throughout the video. I tend to stick in the medium when I can't try things on. Medium is kind of like the safe haven with my measurement. Again, this outfit was cute and I absolutely love how it fit me. Yeah, like I said, we had a good time and this was the outfit. Now the next day was the actual ceremony and this was the dress that I decided to wear. Now I did find the shoes from another store that was out there, these blush sheer pumps that just worked absolutely perfectly with the dress. I had to wear it even though I had other shoes planned. Those are the ones I ended up wearing. You can see me and my sister Alex here together and it was such a great time. I got this from Shein. This is in a size medium. Again, you can find it in the description box below if you're interested in getting it. And this thing just fit phenomenal. Phenomenally. It was so chic. Pairing it with those shoes, I was just like, oh, this was meant to be. I can't get enough of this dress. I know because I just wore it, I'm gonna kind of put it back for a second, but I can't wait to figure out other ways to wear this whenever it's appropriate to. Last but not least, I have this piece that I have on now. This is a long dress that I got from Shein as well, approximately eight or nine months ago. And it's, it's like a taupe dress that really just, it all depends on how you wear this and what it's for. We were doing a lot of errands around town where it just looked like I had business to take care of so this was what I chose to wear and a lot of times I think we think dresses are too dressed up but something simple like this just to throw on makes you look very put together but it's no effort it's a one piece I always suggest a piece like this when you're running around town but you want to look like you're a little bit put together getting something like this always is a winner now I do realize I kind of avoided color this time around with all the pieces that I got including this taupe dress I don't know what it was maybe I'm on a non-color kick that's totally fine Possible. I go through phases where I'm attracted to certain vibrancies of color and this this time around it's, it's not so much but trust me I love a good rainbow this is in a size small and like I told you guys I can go back and forth between all of the sizes really a small medium more large it just sit a little differently but the way this fit as a small I absolutely love it the material is 95% polyester and 5% spandex so there's a lot of stretch going on so that's probably why it feels so forgiving to have it on in a small versus a medium now walking around town and went back and forth between wedges and flat sandals and I'll show you what it looks like between the two of them you guys see the totally different vibe very casual still but different vibes as long as you have a variety in your closet you can dress up or dress down pieces you can make them into totally different ensembles just by the accessories that you pair them with this is such a cute piece and like I said with all these pieces they live in my wardrobe I will get to them again soon enough all right guys that was my what I wore this week and yeah I didn't have a lot of color I realized that when I was pulling everything back together but trust me you'll see the vibrancy come back especially as we get into the warmer month if you enjoy content like this make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and if you're subscribing make sure you click the notification bell to notify of everything i have coming out here on youtube comment down below which is your favorite combination of clothes i don't have a favorite this time maybe the brunch outfit or the going out outfit i know they're on two different spectrums but yeah i dig them both and share sharing my videos really helps my channel grow follow me on social media i'm at tanaj nikki that is on pinterest Instagram and TikTok. Thank you all for joining me today and I'll see you all on the next one. Bye!